Also along the way, the clock specs changed too. So the original Gen 1 specification was, was done at 86 picoseconds peak to peak. And then beginning with Gen 2, the uh, clock specifications changed to um, RMS numbers. So we had uh, Gen 2, which was kind of weird, and then it had a high band and a low band specification um, with a, a 3 picosecond low band and a 3.1 picosecond RMS high band, all after applying certain filters, um, which I won't go into in this presentation. And then Gen 3 uh, came up with a different set of filters, which we will talk about later, and the spec was 1 picosecond RMS. So, because we're dealing with RMS values and the data rate doubles to 16 gig at Gen 4, you would think that the Gen 4 clock spec would be um, 1 picosecond divided by the square root of 2, again it's a doubling but it's RMS, which would give me um, 700 femtoseconds for my clock spec for Gen 4. And that is actually um, what uh, is the case, however, um, that 700 femtoseconds, 200 femtoseconds is removed for uh, channel noise. So, and then the clock spec has to meet a 500 femtosecond specification. So even though the clock meets the spec, um, when you're doing simulations for your channels, you have to use 700 femtoseconds. And then the cool thing about Gen 3 and Gen 4 is they use the same set of filters um, to filter the jitter of the clock before you calculate your, your value. And so uh, the commonality here means that if you were looking at a, a clock that was specified for PCI Express Gen 3 and it had a maximum value less than 500 femtoseconds for jitter, then it's actually a Gen 4 clock. These are the only two generations for PCI Express where you can, where you can make that um, simplification. Um, you know, the calculations are the same, just the jitter limit is, the, is, is different for the Gen 4. Once we get to Gen 5, the, the spec limit is going to be 150 femtoseconds RMS, which, again, if you took this guy and divided by the square root of 2, you would think it would be uh, 350 femtoseconds, which is not exactly um, the case, as you can see here. Um, the filters for Gen 5 are not the same as the filters for Gen 3 and 4, so uh, we can't use that simplification that we had before. So this is just a quick uh, brief history of the data rates of the various generations for PCI Express and the clock specifications down the, down the side here, again, for common clocked architectures. And now let's go look at the um, jitter model.